Hey, what's up everybody? On this channel, I make videos to help you understand computer science and software engineering concepts in the simplest way possible. In this video, we're going to learn how to visualize and understand the meaning of O of n log n when diagnosing time complexity. To understand O of n log n, we will take this small function into consideration. This function has a complexity of O of n log n. Let's step through this code line by line so that we may understand what is happening here. This function takes one argument, n, which for the sake of this example will be 4. We then declare another variable, y, which we will set equal to n. We will get to what this variable y is for later. And at this point, we have a while loop that iterates through n until n is equal to 1. For every iteration through n, this code within the while loop is run. Let's visualize this. For the first iteration of the while loop, n starts off as 4, but we divide it by 2, so n is now equal to 2. Then we get to this line of code, which is the start of a for loop. This is where this variable y comes in. The reason we declared this variable before the start of the loop is because n is getting divided by 2 for each iteration. This in turn is reducing the size of the variable n. But for this inner for loop, we need it to iterate through the original size of our original n. So we stored the original n in a separate variable. OK, back to this inner for loop. For each iteration of this for loop up until the size of n, we will log or print the value for i. Once this is finished, we move on to the next iteration of the while loop and repeat the process. Going into this iteration, n is now 2. We start by dividing n by 2, so n is now 1. And once again, we iterate through our inner for loop up until the size of y. Now at this point, you will notice that our n is now 1. If we check the condition of our while loop, we see that we only want to iterate while n is greater than 1. So the while loop will now terminate, and the function is finished. Now, after all is said and done, and with everything written out, we can see that there is a top-level loop here. And there is an inner loop for each iteration of the top-level loop. So this is where the magic happens, so pay close attention. For every iteration through the top-level loop which iterates until n is 1, n is divided by 2. This means that this top-level loop never actually iterates through the full size of our input n. The value for n is being split in half for each iteration, which is why we would say that this top-level loop has a complexity of O log n. If you are confused about why this top-level loop is O log n, let's take some time to prove it by writing it out. So this is O log n. Let's plug in some numbers. Now if you've watched my video on O log n, you know that in computer science the base of a logarithm is always 2 unless stated otherwise. So this can be rewritten as log base 2 of 4. 4 because we are replacing n with our actual input for n, which is 4. And log base 2 of 4 is 2 because you need to raise 2 to the power of 2 to get 4. And as you can see, this makes sense because for this top-level loop we only iterate two times. Again, if this is not making any sense to you, please go watch my video on O log n and come back to this one. Hey, just a quick interruption. If you all are finding my videos helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have questions or if you're having trouble understanding something in particular, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to attempt to make a video addressing that. So for this top level loop, we have log base 2 of 4 equals 2. Now we need to take a look at what is happening in each of the two iterations of the top level loop. For each iteration, we loop through the full size of y, which is the original size of n. So that means that each of these inner loops has a complexity of O of n, which just means that processing time increases linearly with the size of n. Now this is where we bring everything together. O of n log n really just means O of n times log n. And if we plug in some numbers here, we get this. Because remember, log base 2 of 4 equals 2. 
And if you look at our visualization, it makes perfect sense because for each iteration of the top loop, we iterate through the entirety of y, which is our original value for n. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you visualize O of n log n. If you found this video helpful, please help me out by liking and subscribing. I make videos like this every week, so stay tuned.